In recent months, the influence of artificial intelligence on the stock market has been significant. Tools like ChatGPT have gained popularity and major big tech companies have made notable investments in the AI sector. While companies like Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, and Nvidia are often seen as the primary beneficiaries of AI, there are numerous other companies that have the potential to become key players in this field. One such company is Palantir, identified by the ticker symbol PLTR, an elusive big data firm specializing in enterprise software for government and large commercial businesses. Palantir has experienced a notable resurgence, with its stock surging over 130% year-to-date. However, it is important to note that the stock remains more than 50% below its peak in January 2021. Given the impressive rally, potential investors may have concerns about the stock being overvalued. In this video, we will delve deeper into Palantir presenting both bearish and bullish viewpoints on the company. By examining these perspectives, you will be equipped to make an informed decision on whether investing in this stock is the right choice for you. Stay tuned until the end for a comprehensive analysis. To begin, let's explore the fundamental aspects of Palantir as a company. Palantir Technologies is a software company specializing in big data analytics. Its platforms assist governments, corporations, law enforcement agencies, and other organizations in integrating, visualizing, and analyzing vast amounts of data to drive their decision-making processes. Palantir's revenue can be broadly categorized into two segments, government and commercial. Both segments have exhibited impressive revenue growth over the past few years. In the first quarter of 2023, Palantir reported a year-over-year -year revenue growth of 18%, reaching $525 million with $289 million generated from the government sector and $236 million from commercial operations. The company also hit a milestone, achieving operating profitability for the first time. This marks the second consecutive quarter of net income profitability. It is crucial to differentiate between operating profitability and net income profitability, as the former pertains to a company's profit derived from its core business activities. In the case of Palantir, focusing on its operating profitability provides deeper insights into the strength and stability of its business. Looking ahead, Palantir anticipates its revenue for the year to be in the range of $2.18 billion to $2.23 billion. Furthermore, CEO Alex Karp expressed confidence in the company's profitability, stating that they expect to remain profitable throughout the year. These projections indicate a positive trajectory for Palantir and enforce its potential as a financially viable and sustainable enterprise. Palantir recently made a significant introduction to the market with its artificial intelligence platform, which will be available for sale to both public and private sectors. During the unveiling of AIP, Palantir showcased a real-life military simulation that demonstrated its capabilities. In the simulation, a military dispatcher alerts a base about an unidentified vehicle that potentially poses a threat. Military operators utilize AIP to ask questions about the adversaries in the area and leverage its capabilities to deploy a drone for targeted imagery. AIP can provide different game plans and scenarios based on confirmed threats. With AIP, Palantir aims to establish itself as a vital player in battlefield situations where accurate identification of friend or foe can save lives. While the government's need for AIP is evident, the private sector also offers numerous use cases. The utilization of AIP's large language models for asking questions and exploring multiple outcomes has extensive implications in areas such as fraud prevention, identity theft mitigation, logistics optimization, inventory management, and much more. 
For instance, on the commercial side, Palantir can assist a small shop owner in determining the optimal pricing for a product. It can analyze factors such as market demand and maximum profit potential using its LLMs and extensive data analysis. Although Palantir has yet to fully release AIP, CEO Carp has indicated that the demand for it is robust. The rollout of this new platform will undoubtedly impact the company's financial performance. In the following discussion, we will present both bearish and bullish outlooks that investors have towards Palantir stock. Additionally, we will also share our own perspective on this stock. The status of Palantir as a true AI stock has been a topic of debate among investors. Due to its close ties with government agencies and heavy reliance on government contracts, many perceive Palantir as more of a consulting firm underneath the AI wrap. Raymond James recently downgraded the company's rating from strong buy to outperform, setting a price target of $18. Analysts noted the challenges in finding near-term catalysts due to the company's premium valuation and the recent surge in its share price. However, they also expressed optimism about Palantir's long-term positioning in the field of AI. What Raymond James is saying here is that there are risks faced by growth companies like Palantir if they fail to meet revenue expectations. This is not unique to Palantir, but is rather a common concern for aggressive expansion stage companies. Even the slightest changes in assumptions about the company's prospects can significantly impact its stock price. For those who question Palantir's AI outlook, it's worth noting a recent development. Tech investor Kathy Wood, known for her conviction in Palantir and substantial investments in the company, surprised everyone in 2022 by completely exiting her position. She cited concerns about the company's growth prospects plateauing and increased competition in the sector. However, in May 2023, Wood shocked the market once again by re-entering the Palantir stock. Her investment firm, ARK Invest, purchased 1.26 million shares of Palantir in mid-May and added an additional $4 million worth of shares later in the month. Kathy Wood is not the only notable investor interested in Palantir. Stanley Druckenmiller, a renowned hedge fudge manager and founder of Duquesne Capital, has been an early investor in Palantir and still holds a significant amount of its shares as of the first quarter of 2023. Druckenmiller recently shared his perspective on why AI stocks can be a great investment opportunity. He believes that Palantir, with its large government and corporate clients, is well positioned to monetize AI on an enterprise scale. So the question is, should you invest in Palantir at current price level? That depends on your personal risk tolerance and investing objectives. However, considering its earnings and guidance, it seems that the company is moving in the right direction. One prudent approach to building a position in the stock is through dollar cost averaging, where you regularly invest a fixed amount over time. Unlike some of the well-known big tech companies, Palantir stock does not appear to have fully priced in the AI euphoria. In fact, I would argue that many investors have yet to recognize Palantir as a significant player in the AI space. As a result, the stock seems relatively inexpensive compared to other AI stocks when considering valuation metrics. This could potentially make it an appealing opportunity for those seeking a discounted AI investment. And that is all for Palantir today. If you would want more content on stock ideas just like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel for regular updates, in-depth analysis, and expert opinions. Don't wait to join our community of fellow investors and enthusiasts to stay ahead of the game and make the best and well-informed decisions. Subscribe now and be part of our growing YouTube community. Don't miss out on the exciting discussions and valuable insights to come. More to follow.